So it's estimated that the average internet user, you, me, we create more than 145 gigs of data per day. So the industry around making use of that customer data is obviously huge, multi-billion dollar industry. Gartner says that companies spend over a half a million just on their CDPs alone. So you have data teams, engineering teams, product teams, all working to make the most of that customer data. They're using it to build better customer segments, to better, build better data uh, governance across teams. They're using it to get closer to their customers and they're using it to build better real-time personalization. I put personalization in quotes because if you're like me, you've lost your patience on a slow loading website, you've received a poorly timed chatbot, you've scrolled past some irrelevant content piece, which is interesting because if you think about how much money and time and resources we're putting into making the most of behavioral data, we're still experiencing these really impersonalized experiences. So why is that? At Full Story, we believe that's because you're not using digital behavioral data. Only behavioral data surfaces the sentiment buried between clicks. So only behavioral data can tell you why your customers aren't completing a checkout process or why they're abandoning onboarding. Only behavioral data can tell you if they're a frustrated user or a delighted user, if they're a confused user or if they're a potential bad actor. And by pairing sentiment and digital interaction with other data sources, you're able to create experiences that are actually personalized and relevant and cost effective and all the good stuff that you want. So how do we do it? Full story captures all the behavioral data on your website, every interaction, every motivation behind what's happening on the screen. And with our AI powered auto capture, we also capture everything you don't see. So all of the micro data events that are happening in the background that you don't usually see, this could be like your keystrokes, your zoom in, zoom out, if a product has shown up for a customer or not, if they've highlighted something, normally you don't see all of that. And it's actually pretty important. Plus we take that data and we pair it with the events that you've already instrumented that are important for your company. So this could be like when you tag a, uh, checkout button, or you might tag your login button. You've already told us that's important to you. So combined, you now have one platform that uses all of this auto capture data and the data that you've instrumented in one place. And we do it with industry leading privacy practices, of course. What's really great about this is having one place and leaning on this AI auto capture means that every time your site evolves, and we know digital properties will evolve tons over every day, every month, all the time. You don't have to go back and re-manually instrument things. You've already tagged it one time. So as your site evolves, the data evolves with it. Full Story takes all of that unstructured data and makes sense of it. Data for the data, sake of data isn't helpful. And raw data, as you know, is noisy and it's hard to use. So we take that raw data, we cook it, we clean it, we structure it, and we make it usable for you. And with our proprietary algorithm, we use those user behaviors and assign sentiment to it. So now you have data that's human centric, it's real time actionable, and it's extensible. So I'm really excited to give you a preview of a product we're launching later this month. And it really delivers on that promise of extensibility. It's called Data Direct. It's available as a standalone product, or you can pair it with Full Story's product analytics suite. Data Direct syncs clean, structured, AI ready data to your destination of choice. That means you can pair behavioral data with any of your data in, or sources in your ecosystem. It makes it possible for you to deliver on those experiences in real time and make them personalized. But I think the best way to show you what I'm talking about is to walk through one example. So we'll use fraud as a use case because whether you're in banking, retail, whatever, fraud is a big deal. And if you can reduce fraud, you can reduce customer churn, you can reduce engineering time, 
and you can reduce costs associated with fraud. By harnessing digital behavioral data, you can look at behavior patterns and detect when something might be a fraudulent activity, and then you can also build processes to better remediate against those fraudulent behaviors. So we'll use an example for a company that we'll call Cargo. It's a car rental company. Cargo started using full story to capture all the behavioral data on their website and then send it into BigQuery. They have a goal of reducing speed to action with fraud. So in this case, their teams use the full story platform for, to capture everything like mouse clicks, hover scrolls, page refreshes, text highlights, all that good stuff. And they feed it into their anomaly detection model. In there, they were able to detect some behavior patterns that look suspicious. What they found was a correlation between a user that attempted multiple failed login attempts and then immediately tried to withdraw funds after successfully logging in. Full Story's behavioral data surfaced that for them, so they were able to find that suspicious behavior. Finding it alone isn't the only thing that we can do. With Full Story's Data Studio, it's a no-code way for data teams to visually inspect uh, elements, events, pages, and assign high-quality sentiment signals to that data. So they took that data in Data Studio and they applied labels to the behavior. So then the data that goes into BigQuery is marked as potentially fraudulent behavior and they were able to monitor that over time. And it's especially important to have that ability to monitor over time because you know they're likely going to add other data streams as this starts to uh, mature their model. Okay, but long-term isn't the only thing that's important here, right? I mentioned that we want these teams to have short-term capabilities too. So the cargo team can use Full Story's webhooks to send a notification to their security and fraud teams anytime they suspect that fraudulent behavior on their website. And then those teams can act really quickly to try and remediate that fraud. One more thing Cargo did. They paired that data with other data in Looker. So they paired it with transactional data. That allows them to right size the, the business impact and they can see how much money they're potentially losing or gaining saving, and they can monitor that over time. And again, they can do this with no costly instrumentation. They're not tapping engineering sources on the shoulder all the time to make this possible. That was one example, probably the shortest little demo of my life. Uh, but Full Story's behavioral data can help with a ton of use cases. We can help you shape your roadmap based on how users are working through your website or app. We can help you train AI models using sentiment and signals that customers are actually presenting. We can help you improve your chat bot responses using dialogue flow or my personal favorite. We can help you provide better product recommendations looking at the behaviors of lookalike shoppers. Those are just a few of the use cases, but I'm sure you're kind of starting to think about other use cases that might work for you. And if that's the case, then I'd love for you to chat with our full story team. They're right over in that booth. I can see them staring at me. Um, go over there, chat with them, talk to them about your use case. I know you're tired, but if you've got a little bit in you, we'd love to see you. Tell them that Aaron sent you. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it.